Hey everyone, so in this video we are going to learn another way of how we can find hidden parameters on any web application. But before going into this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you that how we can find origin IP address of a web application that is behind any web application firewall, let's say Cloudflare, then go ahead check it out. The link is in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. Also. If you are a new visitor to this channel, then I recommend you to check out our website, which is www.bepractical.tech or simply bepractical.tech. We have awesome labs, awesome contents related to cybersecurity as well as web development over there, as you can see. And apart from that, we are offering free labs for those who are interested in cybersecurity or in uh, web development, as you can see. Currently, we have account takeover labs, around 10 labs are here. And you can go ahead and check it out. and. All of these labs are based on real world scenarios, so you can increase your cybersecurity skill or bug bounty hunter skill by performing or solving one of these labs in our website. So, with that being said, let's get started. So, the tool that we are going to use in this video is known as X8. So, the link is given in the description, or you can just go to Google and type X8 and GitHub. Right? Just do that, and you will see the very first uh, tool over here on the Google. Right? So, just go to new tab open it in new tab and just visit it right so as you can see so you must be thinking then why we are using these many tools right so uh, in bug bounty hunting or in penetration testing you must have to use all the possible tools that you can get for a particular task right so if you are using three or four tool to find hidden parameters then possibility are that you are covering most of the parameters in your uh, bug bounty hunting Right, so that will be a, a good thing because that will eventually help us to help you to get a bounty or vulnerability further. Right, so the features of this particular tool is quite interesting. As you can see, it is quite fast because it is written in Rust. And the second thing is it has flexible uh, request configuration. It has scalability, more accurate, can discover parameters with not random values. Right, so it uh, can also find admin equals to true, highly configurable. So we can configure so many things and any raw requests were achieved due to external live modification and this is how we can use this tool. let's first of all try to install this tool in our kali linux machine by the way if you don't know how to install kali linux on windows then go ahead and check out my this video which is appearing on the right side of the screen and you'll learn that how we can install kali linux without using any virtualization using windows subsystem of linux so here we are <coughs> sorry now the first thing as always we need to copy this and just type get clone and paste this link so i have already done it that's why it will, it will show that it is already exist and it is not an empty directory of course but in your case it is going to take some time depending on your internet connection now once you have this uh, file clone in your kali linux what you need to do you need to just type cd x8 right after that you need to type a very important command that i'm going to show you is sudo apt install cargo and minus y hit enter and as you can see in my case again it is showing that cargo is already installed but in your case it is going to take some time and the size will be around 100 to 200 mb right once you have this installed what you need to do is we are in this directory then you need to type cargo build and you need to hit enter or if you are facing any issues then you can just go to the installation tab and as you can see it is going cargo build minus minus release so you need to type this command build minus minus release and after that release sorry and after that this tool will uh, start building start compiling the uh, file and it will generate a bytecode for you now once you have this command come executed then what you need to do you will see this particular folder this target folder then you need to go to the target folder by typing cd target just clear this and you will see a release folder again go to release folder and here we are now in your case this file will not be there right so we need to create this file so i'm going to remove this file for now wordlist.txt right now to uh, uh, install or to have wordlist file you can just simply go to <coughs> sorry you can just simply go to a uh, wordlist section on this particular github page here it is word list and as you can see for parameters there are two word lists so the first one is arjun and the second one is samlist so you must you should 
combine these two uh, lists to see more accurate and more efficient and more better results right so for now i'm going to use arjun and i'm going to take a small word list right just visit the small just copy it wait for a few seconds and right now over here just type nano word list uh, dot for high word list dot txt to create the file let me just type d yeah and let's paste this save it and we are good to go now we have everything that is required to run this tool let us try to run this tool on a, a website so i'm going to take a website which is let's say testphp.melnweb.com right so over here we'll take a let's say a parameter a url which have some parameter in it so i'm gonna go with categories and let's say <coughs> sorry and let's say i'm going to take this url right so as we can see that it has a cat parameter so let's uh, let's feed this url without providing the parameter and let's see whether uh, it is able to find the parameter or not right so i'm just gonna go and i'm gonna type dot x8 minus u paste the link we need to specify the word list directory minus w and since the word list in this is in the same directory then again i'm going to type word list .txt and let's hit enter as you can see the word list length is 835 so let us wait so it will take again it will take some time depending on your internet connection so let us wait for this so i'm going to pause the video and once it completes i'll get back to you okay so it is giving time out maybe it's because we are uh, having some internet issues no worries again i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it right here and let's get rid of this real quick and let's hit enter once again And as you can see, it has gone through 835 payloads within, let's say, 2 to 3 seconds, right? And we got a parameter over here, which was right. And also it is telling us that it is reflecting in the response, right? So let us confirm whether this given uh, information is true or not. So I'm going to type, so here we know this cat. And let's say cat equals to, and I'm going to type Superman, for example. Hit enter let's just wait for a few seconds again my internet is a little bit slow that's why we're seeing this and as you can see sorry as you can see whatever we're supplying is getting reflected over here right so this information is also very useful when you are doing bug bounty hunting because from this information we can tell that we must test this parameter for cross site scripting right so this is how you can use this tool and this is what this tool is uh, unique compared to the other tools which was arjun and param spider that it will also tell you what is going on if you supply something in the parameter whether it is reflecting whether the value of the uh, response is changing whether the size is getting increased right so it will tell all of it right so it's quite amazing tool so the link is given in the description once again and this is how you can use this tool now i hope that you have enjoyed this video if you have any doubts at any point then feel free to comment your doubts in the comment section also do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trend going in cyber security as well as web development right uh, or if you want to discuss something then you can connect to our telegram channel and we will have a healthy discussion over there right so also <coughs> sorry also we are running two courses on udemy so let me show you so if you like the way i teach then you can go ahead and check out my two courses so the first one is over here you need to type account takeover and the courses link is given in the description so you can just go out and check them so let me just type it count take over and here it is so this is the very first course so the rating is 4.5 and in this course we are going to learn everything related to account takeover from scratch we are going to see the practical examples of how we can hack uh, someone's account by abusing the web applications misconfiguration you are going to see different ways how we can dive deep into the application and so on and the second course which i am running is hacking windows with python so 
let's just wait and here it is as you can see so in this course you learn everything related to how hackers actually hack into windows machine by creating custom payloads that bypasses most of the antiviruses in till now right so you're going to learn everything from scratch like what is payload what is listener how we can hack uh, into windows machine how we can upload and download file how we can execute cell commands how we can access webcam and so on right so go ahead and check out this course as well if you are interested and this is it Again, if you have any doubt, if you have any issues, then feel free to comment your doubts or issues in the comment section. With that being said, thanks for watching.